Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drag Story Time, the story hour facilitated by drag performers, hosted by me, a vocal reaction, Ireland's premier non binary drag entity. And today we have got some marvelous stories for you, all about diversity and inclusion to celebrate Crinu Nano. Now, for those of you who don't know, Crinu Nano is a very special day. It is a day of free creativity for children and young people. So the Five Lamps Arts Festival have asked me and my friends to come together to share our stories with you so you can have a fun and creative day. Now, let's see if my friends are ready to tell some stories. Who have we got here today? Hello, everybody. Hi, Avoca Reaction. Hi. It's Marion Mary the Sixth. Confirmation MG in here. Where are you coming in from today, Marion? All the way from County Donegal. Oh my goodness, that's really far away. And who have we got next down there? Hi, it's Coco Chanel number five. How you doing, Avoca? Hi, Coco. How's your lockdown been? Oh, it's been fine. With the weather, I'm just going for lots of cycles and walks. I'm getting very fit. That's lovely. Have you been nice and creative? Kind of creative. Is cooking being creative? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, then I've been doing lots of that, yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> and who else have we got with us today? Hi, Boca. Hi, Ben. Where are ben. you coming from? I'm coming all the way from sunny, sunny Sligo. Oh, my goodness. So we've got all four corners of Ireland sorted here on Drag Story Time today. Ben, I love your blue hair. Thanks. Hey. Super cool. So, Ben, have you got a story to share with everybody? I do. I'm going to start with this gorgeous one, The Girl with Two Dads. It's by Mel Elliott. Okay, so this is Pearl. And Pearl is super, super excited because a new girl is starting at her school tomorrow. Pearl loved making new friends and she hoped a new girl would want to play with her. Pearl went to bed early that evening and she hoped she'd be the first to meet the new girl. There she is, all tucked in with Teddy. Oh, hi, Teddy. The next morning, Pearl got ready without even being told, lads. That's how dying she was to go to school. She untangled her hair, she brushed her teeth all by herself, and she tied her own shoelaces. Pearl was up for it that morning. When Pearl arrived at school, she saw the new girl plucking up the courage to say goodbye to her dad. Pearl smiled at her and a cheeky grin came back. Oh, the new girl was gonna be fun. Her name was Matilda. She could run really fast. She could climb tall trees and she loved, what did she love? Do you wanna see? She loved jumping in muddy puddles. Hey. Uh, who doesn't love jumping in muddy puddles? She's just like me, thought Pearl with a smile. The next day, as Pearl skipped into school, she's dying to see her new friend, she saw Matilda saying goodbye to her dad. But something was different. I wonder what's different? Hmm. Pearl noticed that this dad was different to yesterday's dad. So Pearl was confused. So she asked her new friend, while well, they were hanging upside down from trees, as you do, <laughs> where is your mum? And Matilda responded, one mum and one dad isn't what every family has. I have two dads who love each other. Pearl shrugged and said, okay, cool. My dad is a teacher, said Pearl. What do your dads do? So Matilda said, one is a doctor and one is a builder. I love to be an architect, Pearl said. And then Till said, my dad said you could come round for dinner tomorrow. Awesome. Pearl couldn't wait. Her dad was really fun and two dads. Oh, that could be really, really fun. If Pearl's dads like cake and sweets as much as my dad, then maybe we'll have them for dinner, thought Pearl. <gasps> <gasps> After what seemed like the longest day ever, it was time for Pearl to meet Matilda's dad and head to their house for dinner. And there they are, heading off in the car. They sat at the table and Pearl wondered what would be for dinner. But when dinner arrived, it was 
the same food she had at her house. And when Pearl wanted to jump on the bed, Matilda's dad said she should sit quietly instead. Matilda's family wasn't turning out to be as different as Pearl had hoped they would be. When Pearl arrived home, back in her own house, her mum asked, how was Matilda's? Was it good fun? Well, said Pearl, it wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. Matilda's dad's made me eat healthy food. They wouldn't let me jump on the bed. And they have all these rules, hawked Pearl. They are not that cool after all. In fact, they're really boring. Just like you, mum and dad. <laughs> So there you go. The Pearl Stone. Oh, oh, I loved it. Very cute. I love that story, Mary and Mary. It was brilliant. It was so beautiful. <laughs> it's supposed to show there's lots of different types of families, aren't there? There are. Yeah. I actually have two dads and two moms. Two dads, yeah. two moms. Some people only have one mommy or one daddy, or some people live with their granny or their granddad or their exactly, auntie. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's important as well, like what Pearl did, you know, just to ask. If you're confused, it's okay to ask. It's, you know, if you ask in a kind way and you're just being genuinely curious, you know, you can have a conversation and you learn. So it's exactly. lovely. Lovely story. Everyone needs to be a bit more like Pearl. And it's fun to think that some families are quite different, but in general, we're all fairly similar as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of boring. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> a bit boring, yeah.